Greetings, creeps. We have rolled out the blood red carpet for our 2023 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards. This year, we are bringing some esteemed guests in the flesh. Stay tuned for our red carpet pre-show. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, Barbara Hi, Crampton. Hi, I love you. Hi, Missy. Always you. wonderful to see you. How are you? You look amazing, you. by the way. This Hi. pop. Thank you. Uh, it's bringing out your nice. eyes. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> what were some of your favorite things that you saw in horror in this last year? Because I feel like there was oh. like an abundance of riches. Yes, I really think it was. In fact, um, I love seeing Terrifier 2. I really love seeing um, Barbarian and my friend Richard Brake, and he was so scary. And I just, I love that whole film. Um, and especially, it reminded me of Castle Freak a little bit. A like little his bit character. of Castle Freak, yeah. Yeah, but it, you know, it's been written about a lot. The, um, the way the script went, there was a lot of twists mm -hmm. and turns, and you didn't know what was coming and what kind of movie it was. I think the horror fans and the general public also really embraced that, and we loved it. And then um, I loved to smile because I love to smile. <laughs> um, did you have a favorite kill this year? That's always a hard one for me. Okay, so when people say, what's your favorite kill, it has to be the gnarliest, right? It doesn't have to be, but it often is. <laughs> it often is, yes. I would have to say the kill that was in the bedroom in Terrifier 2. <laughs> I couldn't watch it. I watched it, you know, with right. my hands over my eyes. <laughs> But I saw enough of it to know that it was really good. <laughs> the half of it that you saw, yeah. you're like, that's the top one, obviously. Totally. Okay. What are you looking forward to coming up this year in horror? Well, uh, Angel, I'm going to have to plug my own movie, Hell Suitable yeah. Flash yes. by Joe Lynch, uh, starring yours truly, Heather Graham, and um, a lot of other people that uh, you will know and love. Um, so I'm looking forward to to seeing that and we're in post-production on it and it will be coming out sometime this year. Yeah. Jamie Clayton, the priest, the priestess. Hi. Hi. It's wonderful to see you. Nice to see you again too. Hi everyone. <laughs> you are our cover ghoul. You were on the cover of Fangoria. We got to actually show you that in person, which was cool because we don't ever get to do that. That was very sweet. Um, and the issue is sold out. So sorry if you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson before you can learn. Yeah, you know, come on. <laughs> Those pre-orders are there for a reason, kids. <laughs> What's some of the stuff that you were most excited for in horror last year? Oh, I mean, last year was such an epic year for all things horror. Um, I think that Hellraiser was one of the coolest things that happened. Um, and then, oh, also, I really loved um, Hellraiser. That was really cool. And then um, one of my favorite directors, um, he's called David Bruckner. He did um, Hellraiser, um, which was on Hulu, which is really cool. Um, and then I really love, um, there's these uh, ac actors that I love. There's um, Brandon Flynn and Odessa Azion and Drew Starkey. Um, and they were all in Hellraiser. Um, which I thought was really amazing. It was really, really, really cool. Um, and yeah, and then I was in Hellraiser. So <laughs> I think that it was a great year for Hellraiser. I mean, horror. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we may have caught that one once or twice. Did you see I it? Think I, see, I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Yeah. yeah. It sounds vaguely little familiar. Birdie told me it was pretty popular. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh my goodness, Felissa. We have Felissa Rose and the Thirst Murderer. You guys look phenomenal. How this is my date. I'm doing well. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys, you guys are a cute couple. I'm, I'm liking everything that I'm seeing here. This is adorable. Yeah, he's pretty tall and hot and <laughs> sexy and thirsty. Is he thirsty? He murders the thirst. That's why yeah. I love him. That's why I adore him. Right, honey? I'm loving this. Um, what you, this was an amazing year for horror. What are some of your favorite things that came out in like 2022? We're here to celebrate that, and I just feel like it's like an insane amount of awesome shit. Well, I mean, I have to say Terrifier 2 was absolutely <laughs> amazing. Blew my mind. I mean, the effects in that film, Damien Leone is just like the king. Disgusting. Yeah. In the best way. Brutal, violent, terrorizing. <laughs> just like you, baby. <laughs> We just, this is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a, a second here. <laughs> the 
the Sisters McGraw, my favorite horror duo. Hi guys, you look lovely. This is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm like excited but creeped out. I mean like yes, I'm like I'm living for all of this. Um, you guys are in some of my favorite horror movies from the last two years. What are some things that you were most excited about in horror from 2022? Well, I obviously knew that. Megan was coming yeah, out, so I was really excited, excited to that. see that. I was like waiting for that that whole year. And I mean, we were as well. But. Yeah, <laughs> and to see Black Phone, which was awesome. But um, I also saw Scream, which was really good. I watched it on the plane. Um, I think 2022 is also the year I got my mom to budge on letting me watch horror movies. Okay. <laughs> so I caught up. I watched like It, It Chapter 2. They were really good. Um, yeah, I really like watching horror movies, especially with my sister. Yes, yeah, so really I, I would never <laughs> watch it alone. But I will usually always watch it during the daytime, unless yeah. we're like out late or something. Or some, That is a secret, yeah. daytime. Or sometimes <laughs> on airplanes, which is a little scary. Did you have any favorite horror movies from 2020? 22? Well, I don't know how many I were allowed to watch at the time, but I was, I was very, I, I was looking forward to Megan, and I was so excited to see it. But yeah, I did not really watch horror movies that last wow, year. Wow, not Black Phone. Oh, Black Phone too. <laughs> Black Phone too. Black but like Phone, as well, Black Phone. But yeah, other than that, I have not watched many scary movies. So you've you've started to come into watching horror movies, yes. and you guys are both kind of like fans now. Yes, yes for sure. I would definitely. I would count Jaws as a horror movie, right? 100%, yes. Okay. <laughs> Good, because I watched that recently this year. Terrified the life out of me. I think that was like the scariest movie I've ever watched in my life. Um, can, you, can you guys show me any cool, like, do you guys do TikTok dances together? And you um, dance with Megan? You do sometimes, yeah. 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 Can you show me any moves that I can use maybe tonight? Uh, oh, you should do the Megan dance. I, I can't do any of that, okay? <laughs> uh, the, the arm thing maybe. maybe I could do. Oh, I could do the shoulders. Thingy. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. Thank Good luck you. tonight. Thank okay, you. and we'll see you after the show. Mason, looking very dapper this thank evening. Thank you, you too. It's nice to meet oh, you. Thank you. It's wonderful to meet you. So this is a very exciting night. Uh, we're big fans of Black Phone. Obviously, I should have the cover to hold up, but you have been on a Fango cover, your movie. That's crazy. I still can't believe that, to be honest. I remember when they first showed me, I thought it was like maybe like a fan thing or something, but then I saw it and I really looked at it and it was real and I still can't believe it to this day. Did you do the Universal maze? There was the black phone maze at Universal. Yeah, oh my God. It was so funny because they had like a little version of me that was like three feet tall. I still think that was like the scariest part of that maze, but yeah, it was cool. I did a walkthrough before and I did I did take a picture with the tiny Mason. I, I did too. What are some other things that you were excited for in this past year in horror? Honestly, I mean, this like being in Black Phone was my introduction to, you know, the horror. I mean, I've always loved horror movies, but this is like my first time really being in it and meeting all the horror fans and they show so much love to me, which is awesome. But I honestly think my favorite horror movie this year of, of like 2023 has got to be Scream 6. Nice. Did you, you saw that already? Oh my okay. God, dude. That's, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but like, dude, that's, that's the best Scream movie for sure. Have you seen all of them? I've seen every single one. Okay. Well, do you have a Scream ranking? First, okay. Scream 6, mm -hmm. Scream, Scream 1, and then Scream 3, Scream 2, and Scream 4, and then Scream 5. I know that it was low, but I still think Scream 1 is my favorite. Nice. All right. There's no bad Scream movies is a Honestly, thing. Honestly, right. there's, not. there's not. There's not. It's just preference. <laughs> okay. I love that. Is there anything that you're excited for this coming year? In horror specifically, I'll say. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. Oh, that sounds like we have some cool stuff to look forward to from you. Oh. Tricky. All right. <laughs> Let's check back in with the thirst murderer. Oh, he's just flexing away, murdering that thirst. Liquid death. Murder your thirst. Oh my goodness, we have Twin Temple coming down the walkway. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming out tonight. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for, for having us. us. I am just, I was like admiring your outfits. This is amazing. Can you do like a twirl for us? Ooh, <laughs> a twirl. A twirl. A twirl. Oh my God. With the cape. Oh my God. Wait, I didn't see the back fully. Let me see. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Unholy shit, I should say. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very cool. Oh, thank you. These old things. You know, we just pulled them out. <laughs> you guys are presenting tonight, right? Yeah. Yes. Which award are you presenting? Our best, best, score. Yeah, best score. Fitting. Yes. yes. <laughs> this has been such a cool year in horror. What have you guys been just like fucking like just so stoked on in 2022? Mm. I mean, there are so there. There's been so much great horror yes. this year. Yeah, really it's has. like a bloodbath of, <laughs> of amazing horror. I mean, mm. we have to obviously shout out um, Brian Fuller, Queer for Fear. Yeah. Yeah, I thought fear great. he's a friend. Yes. We were not <laughs> 
not paid to say this by him. Um, but the series I thought was just amazing okay. and like resonated on such a deep level. I felt like he was basically saying like our ethos, but mm-hmm. in another yes. medium. Right. So um, that was like very yeah. poignant and very beautiful and very well done. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Obviously, we're huge Dragula fans. Yeah, yeah. Dragula Titans was great. Yeah. Um, Titans was amazing. Mm-hmm. So fun. We don't watch sports, so it's like... Yeah. Titans is the sport. Titans yeah. is our sport. <laughs> and I got my parents into it, and we all oh like, have our favorite, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, shh, don't talk. Like, Dragula's on. Like, we want to make sure, like, our favorite wins. Yeah. We should have Fantasy Dragula. Oh, that's Can I be in your Fantasy Dragula yeah. League as well? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to in the upcoming year? Because I feel like we had just came out of like a fucking awesome year of horror, but I feel like we're going into another amazing year of horror. Mm. Yeah. What we do in the shadows. Yes, <laughs> yes. we're I'm big. Obsessed. We're, we're obsessed. <laughs> Dr. Fearless, I was not expecting to see you oh, here, but uh, welcome. Hello, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you. How are you? Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? Oh, I am so much looking forward to all of the special awards and the honorings and all of the treatments tribute to yours truly, Dr. Fearless, because I am the most important figure in the community of horror fanatics. <laughs> I guess I missed that part in the script, but I'm, I'm excited to see your friend David. He's actually hosting again this year. We're really happy to have him back. You look very excited about that. Wait, is David Desmalch... How, how do you say this guy's name? David Dasmal Chichichi, the cheater, is here tonight taking my thunder? It will not happen. I will not stand for it. That man is a hack. He is a complete fraud. I am the real deal. The people, they yearn for me. They burn for me. They beg for me. And I will, I will be the star of tonight's special. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that, I guess. Uh, well, great. It was great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> oh, you've always been such a good fan. And to all of my fans, I, I love you dearly from the bottom of my dead and not beating heart. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in the show. And, uh, yes, please, uh, uh, someone will need to help me carry all of my awards tonight. Oh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get Jason on that. Thank and, uh, Dr. Fearless, if you ever need a daughter, Fearless, please call me in. <laughs> Well, I I will make that prescription happen. (laughs) And good night. And good night. And good night. Good night. Uh, Kayla, hello. It's Final Girl? Yes, it is. You got a boom. Boom. Final Girl right there. Final Girl. (laughs) As I should be. We're big fans of Megan. We enjoyed that one. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I am really, really happy that like horror fans are enjoying it. Wait, you sound like surprised. They're like what? Well, I I didn't think it was gonna be as big of a hit as it was. Okay. I always thought it was gonna be like this cute little like cult movie oh, okay. for people who like that sort of thing. But like the fact that it blew up was just like it's amazing. And like I love horror, so mm-hmm. feeling that love from horror yes. fans is like it's gratifying and it's wonderful. And obviously, Megan was amazing. What are some other things that you were a fan of in the last year? Oh. Like, a lo- Barbarian. I was going to say, okay. like, there's one that I really, really love. Barbarian. I also uh, enjoyed Cocaine Bear. I love the fact that, like, crazy wild movies are being made. Nope. Uh, mm-hmm. Enjoyed that. Always love seeing Jordan Peele, uh, you know, do his thing. Like, off the top of my head, those. And I'm probably going to walk out of here and be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Really, really happy for, like, the the years that indie horror is now having. Like, yes. And I'm happy that, you know, I've said this many times, I'm happy that fun horror uh, is making a comeback. Horror's biggest night. How are you guys feeling? What are you most excited for in horror this year? Oh, my gosh. I'm loving the success of these sort of smaller indie movies getting a wide release, a lot like Malum. Yeah. Um, it's just, so, to me, it's so empowering as a horror fan to see that we are keeping the industry afloat it feels like and it's so great that the fans are coming out in droves to support smaller movies on a much bigger scale it's really exciting speaking of malum we have the director of malum here yes, that's you. an exciting thing for 2023 maybe we'll see you again for next year's chainsaws I mean, maybe clark will be here accepting an award <laughs> double awards maybe yes maybe, yeah. i fingers crossed <laughs> i'm gonna start the campaign now yeah. what were you most excited for in this past year in horror you know it was great i think last year to see terrifier take mm-hmm. off that okay. was because you know a lot of friends who were involved with that and that was I mean, that hit in a hit in a big way. And, you know, that that first film had that grassroots fan base. Mm -hmm. And I think I know that they were not anticipating that kind of reaction. And it's awesome that people, 
And I also love that people that came to see the movie had no idea what they were getting into. And people like us know what they're right, getting right, into, right. but like mainstream walking in, fainting, dying, puking. <laughs> the awesome. dying, yeah. That's yeah, like... I think it happened. Yeah, I got the inside. A lot, a lot of people died. Well, Deceased in the movie theater. In the movie theater, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, maybe we can say the same about Malum for next I year. I hope so. I <laughs> yeah. hope so. Chris and Nelson, it's lovely to see you. Hello, lovely to see you too. You look amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. You always look dashing, uh, ravishing as usual. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So you're presenting tonight. I am. I'm presenting Best Kill. What's your pick for Best Kill? Am I allowed to ask you that? What's my pick? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I'm 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 a little partial to to you know <laughs> uh, throwing uh, Michael Myers into a uh, car uh, chomper. Is that what you call it? A car a chomper? Ca- a car chomper is what I've been calling it, so I hope so. <laughs> That's what, uh, I'm a little partial to that. But uh, other, other than that, there's some, it's been a tough year competition-wise for all that kind of stuff. No, that's always my hardest category, and then I realized I need to take better notes throughout the year of Best Kill because it's the write-in category, so I don't have anything to prompt me, and then I'm always like, oh, shit, Best Kill, what, what do I want to do? So obviously car chomper, duh. Car chomper, <laughs> like uh, the teleprompter said, you got to up the ante all the time, so I'm, I'm always trying to get that Best Kill award. I want that award again, so let's see. Nice. Bread slicer territory. Right? That was a nice yeah. one. <laughs> oh, that was. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> the bread slicer. <laughs> well, yeah, don't, don't, don't do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> but don't try that at home, kids. All right, thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see what the thirst murderer is up to. Yep, still flexing. Liquid Death, murder your thirst. Vamp, coming down the red carpet. Hello, lovely. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You look fantastic also, by the way. You do a little spin, a little twirl. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) What was your favorite kill of the year? So I have to say this comes from one of my favorite movies, Barbarian. Hell yes. (laughs) I went in completely blind. I had no idea. I was like, Skarsgård, you're it. (laughs) And then Skarsgård gets brutally murdered. And then Mother comes in and anything she... I mean, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, Mother is going to fuck some shit up. (laughs) Oh my god, we have Megan coming down the red carpet. (laughs) Looking amazing. Thank you. And taller than I realized. I've ever known. Yeah, yeah, I'm really that tall. Um, a lot has happened. Actually, Megan was filmed 10 years ago oh, okay. before okay. Avatar 2, and that's why. <laughs> Growth spurts. Growth spurts. It um, happens. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm actually the new improved Megan. Yeah. With a mustache that comes as an accessory if you buy the model at home. <laughs> if you just wanted to play with gender. You know. I really love the, the mustache just bring, really brings it all together for me. Yeah, it stands for the Q in my name, which is queer. So you look at me, you just know it's a queer being. <laughs> Megan, what are some of the most exciting things from the 2022 in horror that you really loved? I really loved Nope. I have to say, I really adored the crap out of it. I love that you didn't know what was coming. It was amazing. I really (laughs) did love it. What was your favorite moment in Nope? Honestly, the very end when Kiki, like, is such a brilliant and underused artist and a flippin' amazing actress. I mean, I love her music too. Kiki, I love you, okay? Um, I'm sorry if you don't know who this man is, but I love you, Kiki, <laughs> and that's totally fine. But that last scene when the, I guess, spoiler alert, uh, when the thing dies, the thing from the sky, um, and she went in and she just like popped one it. That, that whole moment, you were just like, it was like a rabbit running from a predator. And I think she really captured and embodied that moment. As a fellow actress, I really vibed with that. My favorite kill from last year is X, for sure, with the gator munch. Oh, oh honey, <laughs> honey. If you want to be killed by a dinosaur, you can just go to a bayou and a gator will chomp you, okay? And the thing about being chomped by a gator, there's no remains. That body is dissolved in acid and you will never see that body again. <laughs> okay, that is terrifying. At least if you get axed and killed, someone might mess up. Human makes spring steaks. But her, if it's a gator, no one, you're going to be pooped out in the bottom of a lagoon. No one's going to, you're never going to be seen from again. Gone, gator, gone. Gone, gator, gone. <laughs> gator poops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hashtag gator poop. R.I.P. gator poops. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, bitch put in. We love you so much. Thank you for, for joining us tonight. Of course, and thank you for having me slay. I had a great time, and I just wanted to know that drag is for everybody, and you should try it. It's really fun. Mr. Alec Gillis, hello. hello. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be standing next to you. Oh, stop. You're the one with the wardrobe. <laughs> 
You're the one with a cool creature effect look, tonight. Look at you have actual chainsaws on. <laughs> I took it very literally. They said, "Angel, it's the chainsaw wars," and I was like, "I'm gonna fucking bring my chainsaws then." <laughs> I left mine at home. I don't know. Um, were there anything anything low budget that you saw this year where you're like they pulled that off and that was sick as shit? Um, God, you know what I tend to do? This is a little a bit of a confession. I tend <laughs> to sit down. I get like uh, Fangoria very often on Instagram posts like. Uh, horror films you should mm-hmm. see so I take a little screenshot of that <laughs> and then I sit down and then I have scotch mm-hmm. and then I sit there and I pick them and I watch them and I fall asleep okay. and they're in my brain this is a this is my way of saying I can't remember any of the titles <laughs> they're subconsciously in your dreams though they're working your they way are. into your dreams they, I'm, I'm like um AI art where everything <laughs> every other artist does goes into my brain and then I subconsciously regurgitate it and steal it <laughs> And pretend that it's original. You've just absorbed all of it. Yeah, we're here for it. I know. I just also <laughs> set myself up for a massive lawsuit. <laughs> Class action. Cut that all out. Cut it all out. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Thank Alec. you. Have a good evening. Thank you. I'll do, it's this way. Isn't right it? this way, sir. Yes. <laughs> Terry, Julia making their way down the red carpet looking bloody lovely. Thank you. <laughs> It's lovely to see you. All the blood. Thank the you. Blood. Blood. Thank you. All the time. But sparkles as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we got to bring the, the Lost Boys sparkly blood into the mix, right? Correct. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> if I could have a mullet just like Alex Winter did in that movie, <laughs> I would be so happy. You cut away, cut back to us all with mullets. Oh, my God. <laughs> what were some of your favorite moments in horror throughout 2022? I feel like there's a shit ton, so that's a hard question. But what were some of your more memorable moments? Oh, my God. I'm already overwhelmed. What do you got? <laughs> uh, we're very big fans of the Adams Family mm-hmm. and so Hellbender blew our minds this year. Oh yeah. Um, and we really recommend it to everybody because you know not only is it just a fantastic film, but you have a family working yes. together to make movies together and that's the most spectacular thing that they meld so well and are really doing the whole thing on their own. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. And we love folk horror and they are killing it in that yes. genre. Obsessed with them. Absolutely. Yeah. Also. I'm also obsessed with the Adams. Not Adams. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Not- but the filmmaking <laughs> Adam's family, family, an actual family of humans, maybe humans, yeah, we don't know, who make amazing humans, films. Super, I would say. Superhumans, yeah, 100%. They're pretty yeah. fantabulous. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for me, it was probably Nope. It was mm-hmm. like a huge okay. Jordan. I'm a huge, huge Jordan Peele fan. So excited to see that freaking monster, the most beautiful <laughs> monster that ever monstered. So I was very, very, that was probably my highlight of last year for okay. me, too. Adrian King, final girl in the house. Hello, Angel. <laughs> Looking lovely tonight. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> much i appreciate that and I'm excited to see you always a fan <laughs> of you and <laughs> everyone out there you know it's been a long time since i've seen them all so it's great to be here i feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more of you very very soon and i'm very excited about it yeah me too <laughs> all of you crystal lake fans Woo! out there <laughs> so yeah we can all thank brian fuller for that brian fuller we thank you on behalf of all of us i thank you <laughs> yes and a24 and yes. nbc peacock they've Absolutely. all come together for the fans finally we have finally new. oh my god and i know we talked about that before yes. that we were all dying for something new yes <laughs> what's some of the like most exciting stuff that you've seen in horror in this past year oh my god how about mia Oh my God! Oh, I'm Pearl. <laughs> which which role? <laughs> well, Pearl, I loved. Okay. Yeah, I did love that. And then, of course, I I do enjoy myself some uh, some nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, and nope. And uh, oh God, there were so many to choose mm-hmm. from. As a matter of fact, yes. I'm reading all the best performances that were selected tonight. Ooh, that's a, I like that category. That was a hard category for it me to was vote for. Huge, yes. hugely, and I think we ended up with. 10 in the category so I was like who would I pick it was so (laughs) difficult so I can't choose any favorites since I'm actually Mm -hmm. going to be ripping open that envelope and announcing it tonight (laughs) yes ripping it open (laughs) unveiling that's the word unveiling is the elegant I said ripping open like a barbarian you said unveiling unveiling. (laughs) once I actually thought of it (laughs) Rebecca good to see you you look Elric, amazing. thank you so much. You guys, so, yeah. <laughs> you guys look amazing. I love loving this uh, Shelly representation. Yep, Shelley. I'm loving the Halloween representation. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So this was an amazing year in horror. What was your guys' like favorite shit that you saw in 2022? 
Oh my gosh, I was a huge fan of a lot of the stuff that Shudder was doing. I was so excited to see horror come back to theaters. That was a really nice thing as Elric and I got to go back to theaters and see a lot of stuff together and it once again became our weekend routine. There's a lot of big swing horror, the barbarians, the smile. It felt like studio horror was also back yes. and that felt important to us. I mean, we had fun in movie theaters again and then the things on streaming that were from festivals were just like exciting. I think I had I think I had like 30 films in in the works for like our top 10 that I felt like were suitable. And some years you wouldn't even have a good 10. And I think he gave a key word for us at least, which is fun. Like that is the type of horror that we love, that we gravitate to. And seeing Smile together where I, I literally shrieked out loud at one point. Oh yeah, there were some I? big jumps. Yeah. Um, Wait, which part was your shrieking part? I don't even remember. Oh, Do you remember? Oh, I remember shuddering back in the seat. And no one ever gets me like that when the person's looking at an audio file loading. And then the sound comes from here, and you're just like, oh, damn, that's cheap, but great. I love no, it. No, I'm such a screamer, and it, no matter how much horror I watch, I, that. but that's what keeps me here is the fact that I still get so excited and engaged that I will shriek out loud, and I definitely did during Scream. You didn't scream during Scream, but you screamed during Smile. I smiled during Scream, and I screamed during Smile, that's and pretty much right. that's, yeah. it makes me happy. Let's see what the Thirst Murderer is up to. Keep working at Thirst Murderer. Liquid Death. Murder your thirst. Thank you so much for everyone who stopped by to chat with us. It is now time to fire up the Shutter app. The awards are about to start. I gotta run. I'll see you over there. <laughs>